The first section of Zechariah's prophecy begins at verse 6. Listen. Yet surely my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not overtake your fathers? So they returned and said, Just as the Lord of hosts determined to do to us, according to our ways and according to our deeds, so he has dealt with us. So these first six verses are important to the book of Zechariah. This is God's call to his people to repent. The fathers were called to repent and they didn't repent. So now what? Well, Zechariah is acting as God's mouthpiece. And we need to know what's going to happen now. And so here it seems that Zechariah just stops right here. What's the answer going to be? So was it days? Was it weeks? Was it hours? How long did they take to think about it? We don't really know, but we know they came back and they said, yes, we repent. And the people did repent. What did the people say? They said that God did exactly what he said he would do. He judged them according to their deeds. And that is just what he did. In other words, God's judgments of his people were fair. They were just. It was right. It was, it was measured for what they did. God gave them the, the right consequence for it. And that's the way God always is. Zechariah's whole set of prophecies is an invitation to us to repent. It's an invitation to God's people to repent then, and as we apply it to ourselves today, it's an invitation for us to repent today. If there's some ways we're outside of God's will, now's the time. Now's the time. What will we do about it? So God is linking his judgment, judgments of his people in the past, with the opportunities that are there for Zechariah's generation. What will they do? Yes, the fathers did their thing, and they went into captivity for seven years, but now there's a new generation. And it's their opportunity, and it's always something hopeful and new. What will we do? What will our generation do? Well, we seek. Seek out the God of heaven and earth. A lot of people break off into these dispensational theologies, and so they've got pieces of the Bible that aren't going to apply to us. That part's not going to apply to us. But that's a mistake. We, as Christians, we want to be, realize that the history of God's people in the past is now our history. Their failures, their victories, their successes... And so this is our opportunity not to deny our connection with them, but to embrace it and say their mistakes are ones we don't want to make. So we can turn and be right now in our time, even if they were wrong in their time. Mm -hmm.